Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. This is going to be part of a beginner's introductory series about the basics of specific coins for those who might be new to the cryptocurrency space. I'm going to go over a number of things and then I'm going to simplify them for you so that they are as basic as possible so that you can have a better grasp or that you can understand a little bit better exactly what is happening in the cryptocurrency space. Today we are going over Ethereum. It says Ethereum is a decentralized platform that runs smart contracts. These are applications that run exactly as programmed without any possibility of downtime, censorship, fraud, or third-party interference. These apps run in a custom-built blockchain, which has an enormously powerful shared global infrastructure that can move value around and represent the ownership of property. This enables developers to create markets, store registries of debts or promises, move funds in accordance with instructions given long in the past, like a will or a futures contract, and many other things that have not yet been invented, all without a middleman or counterparty risk. I know that sounds completely insane. So to kind of uh, make things a bit more simplified, let's start with this. It says a blockchain is a digitized, decentralized, public ledger of all cryptocurrency transactions. This is what Ethereum is running on. It runs on a blockchain. It is constantly growing as completed blocks. The most recent transactions are recorded and added to it in chronological order. It allows market participants to keep track of digital currency transactions without central record keeping. Each node, a computer connected to the network, gets a copy of the blockchain, which is downloaded automatically in the simplest form possible. Think of a Lego. Think of that Lego as one transaction. If you put another Lego on top of that, you have merged two transactions together. You have put two Lego blocks together. If you have 15 of these blocks on top of each other, you have essentially created a blockchain, and that is exactly what a blockchain is. A lot of people uh, ask me many times, what exactly is a blockchain? And that is the simplest way. It is a, it's connected transactions that have happened on the networks, and they are bound together by the other transactions that are happening with them. And in this way, it has created a block chain. Think of it the easiest way, like I said, with Lego blocks. Uh, when you download the Ethereum client or application to your actual computer, it actually automatically downloads the entire blockchain, which is every single transaction that has happened on the network. The point of this is, is to, uh, as everything is decentralized and does not have a central party, there is not one government or one entity that is controlling everything. Everyone on the entire Ethereum network has control and therefore is able to also view every other transaction that has ever happened in the entire history of Ethereum which makes it so that no fraud can happen on the network because should something happen and everyone realizes that something or is a miss or is a foot, other people on the network will be able to see that this has happened and they will more or less in simplified terms be able to raise their hand and say that fraud has occurred and everyone else on the network will be able to then uh, smooth this over and figure out the best way to get rid of the fraud that has happened. In the I, Ethereum is, is probably one of the more difficult uh, cryptocurrency projects. It is not as simplified as many other ones. So I'm going to try and uh, smooth it out as best that I can. On top of this as well, it went over the idea of smart contracts. Smart contracts help you exchange money, property, shares, or anything of value in a transparent, conflict-free way while avoiding the services of a middleman. The best way to describe smart contracts is to compare the technology to a vending machine. Ordinarily, you would go to a lawyer or a notary, pay them, and wait while you get the document. With smart contracts, you simply drop a Bitcoin or any other cryptocurrency into the vending machine or the ledger, and your ESCO, escrow, driver's license, or whatever drops into your account. More so, smart contracts not only define the rules and penalties around an argument, agreement, in the same, well, I guess also an argument, that tra traditional contracts do, but also automatically enforces those obligations. Uh, the simplest way of putting this is uh, the entire Ethereum blockchain or the entire Ethereum project is based around the idea of smart contracts and being able to execute smart contracts, wherein you would go, like it says, to a lawyer or notary in order to get something done. You are now able to program something in Ethereum to create a smart contract that will pretty much execute something when you say so. Let's say you are trying to buy property from someone else and you have an agreement going on, but you do not, in this case, trust that other person. You can tell the smart contract, I'm selling them my property on this date 
And the stipulation says that I am going to receive the money from them and they will receive the property when the exchange has actually happened. In the smart contract, you will be able to lay out the rules and only when that person has sent their money to you will the smart contract be able to execute that you are also then passing over the property to them. I hope I explained that in the easiest way possible. It's pretty much uh, the uh, one of the reasons why the Ethereum project has uh, so much hype or uh, excitement around it is because uh, we have pretty much, or they have more or less, <laughs> figured out a way to simplify the way that we work when it comes down to contracts and other things that are happening, especially on the internet. Uh, we no longer in this case have a need for a third party or a middleman to be able to conduct business, we can simply create a smart contract to execute it for us. And it happens and it goes off without a hitch as uh, everyone once again is then also able to see every transaction that has happened on the blockchain and other people are also able to verify that this has also happened uh, when it was supposed to have happened and if the stipulations inside the actual contract uh, came to be, i.e. if they paid you, they get the house, vice versa, you also get the money. That's the simplest way of being able to explain it. On top of this as well, there are things of, as many of you should already know, uh, called applications or apps that you have on your phone. As Ethereum is trying to become a decentralized mega platform, if you will, they call themselves a world computer. They're trying to create something called dApps. And pretty much these are decentralized applications that can be built on top of the Ethereum network. And they can include anything from any type of app that you can kind of think of. The important part is, is that as they are decentralized, uh, it stops other entities or third parties or middlemen from being able to stop what exactly is happening within that project or that app, i.e. There, we have an issue right now in the world where a lot of people are being censored for what they have to say. Or if you believe in a certain thing, or if you have created a website that someone else does not agree with, uh, you are then able to create that. Or the idea is you will then be able to create that on the Ethereum network. And uh, your work would not be censored or would not be able to be censored as it is written on the Ethereum blockchain. That is as about as simple as I can possibly make it without really digging any further. There are an enormous amount of uh, dApps that are actually being created for Ethereum, as well as a number of websites that are also going to be created. The original idea, and it's still kind of there, for Ethereum is to be, like I said, a world computer where everything that runs on the internet right now will, in theory, one day be able to be built on top of Ethereum. And we could then have a sort of utopian, uh, decentralized world where everyone has a say and no one can take down your information or say that you are not correct simply because they do not like what you are saying. Hope I uh, explain that in the best way possible. It says, for those who are wondering, the primary difference between Ethereum and any other cryptocurrency is that it's not just a currency, it's an environment. Here, anyone can take advantage of the blockchain technology like we spoke about before to build their own projects and decentralized applications through smart contracts. Now you know what they are. This is very important. This is a very important distinction because this very thing shows you the true scope of what is possible in Ethereum. Ethereum is probably one of the more ambitious cryptocurrency projects out there. While Ethereum or ETH or ETH may be the actual cryptocurrency that runs on the Ethereum blockchain. Ethereum, for those who are wondering, is trying to become... Uh, something much more than that, as the creator of Ethereum believes that everything should be decentralized, that the world should be able to do what they wish, when they wish, and this is why the platform was created. Uh, like I said, Ethereum is one of the more uh, difficult projects to be able to explain in a non-simplified uh, and or simplified way. So I hope I uh, helped you with the basics of exactly what Ethereum is, what they're planning on being, uh, how they are working right now, what a blockchain is when it comes to Ethereum itself, and exactly uh, sm what sm smart contracts are because smart contracts are pretty much the, the core of what Ethereum is. And it's expected that within the next couple of years, as Ethereum continues to ramp itself up, uh, e these smart contracts will actually take over an enormous amount of jobs that we have right now as they are able to be simplified and will be able to be put directly onto a blockchain. I hope that I helped. Hope that you are all having a great day, morning, afternoon, and or evening, wherever you are, wherever you might be. I hope it's wonderful. Thank you once again for watching and or listening, and I'll talk to you all soon. See you.